Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we doing today? I hope we all had a very safe week. All right, today um, I have um, a review on a Calavera product that's not out yet. Um, and uh, he sent it to me to test. And I've tested it now for about a week and a half and I'm gonna show you the product. Matter of fact, it's sitting right here on the, on the uh, uh, bench. But I'll, um, we'll go over that in a second. Um, what I ended up getting was the um, ETSC125, which actually is a Christmas present from my wife. And she knew that I was not going to wait um, for Christmas. Because last year she got me the contractor saw with a lockable track, and I waited for Christmas. Uh, but this I really want to try out. So I, started, I, I, I didn't play with this one yet, but I was playing for the past like couple of weeks. They had uh, a sample at Woodcrafters. So I, the, I was playing with it there, and it is a phenomenal sander. Basically, uh, comes in a sustainer too. You get the uh, cordless um, sander. They give you one pad, the bag. Then they give you a TC, what is it? Uh, TCL6 charger with another battery. Now you can get it that also has um, a battery pack that actually, uh, well it's not, it's an adapter, and it comes um, with a plug. And that one actually is a sustainer with the drawer on the bottom, because it gives you the cord, it gives you an open space, and then it gives you the adapter. Basically it looks just like the battery, but it has the um, a Festool twist lock plug. Well, the batteries, of course, all their new batteries have the fuel gauge on it. But this thing is really nice, especially if you're going to bring it and do, you know, do a small job. Um, it comes with a reusable bag, and you can also hook up the new um, adapter for the hose onto it. And it comes with you know both the, the, the battery instructions, it comes with uh, both instructions, um, it's in its own molded plastic as the similar uh, Festool, and it also comes with a um, nose guard uh, in uh, this uh, package. But the bag, being reusable, um, actually, you just flip this tab, open it up, and dump the bag into um, a garbage. It even has a little check in there, so nothing comes back out if any back pressure gets on it. Pretty ingenious, uh, but, you know, from a company of Festool. And then to put the bag on, um, of course I'm a lefty, you know, the Festool name hits the bottom, and then you just kind of push on the bag, until both ends snap in and now it locks in and like I said I was playing with this thing for quite a few weeks at the um, local um, woodcrafter and it's 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 very nice it takes the five inch pad just like everything else and it is six speed it has um, six speeds on it so this is the low speed and then that's uh, the six speed. It has a rocker switch off and on and brushless motor. Oh, and the nose guard fits right on to the top. You just push it into here and that's how the nose guard. And then to take it off, you just pull both ends, comes right off. Same with the, all the other sanders. Okay, um, I picked up, um, I've always wanted to get one of these um, Minis. This is going to be for my big bandsaw when we get the new truck. Uh, the bandsaw will fit perfectly into that. And then uh, I got another, well the Sustainer one that came in, uh, that was going to be the humidor. But then I picked this up. I was looking at this and I actually have one. This is an empty Domino Sustainer. And it fits their block sanders perfectly. They come in packs of six. They fit in there perfectly. You can get six different grits in there. I'll probably get like a, a 240 and then put, I have some other sanding blocks. I'll put them up here. Fits perfectly. And then, then I just mounted it right here where all my other sanding stuff is. I don't know if, if you guys ever saw that video, but the sandpaper inside one of these folders you get from Staples or Office Depot, and it fits the sandpaper perfectly right in there. And you keep it backwards 
so you can actually see. I wrote on the tabs what grit they are, but it fits perfect. You just fold it up and you just keep it right where, you know, your sanding stuff is. All right. Um, here's something. It's only a prototype. I did it rough. We were at my, um, my cigar bar, Isabel Cigar Bar Cuba, my wife and I. And this is a Cuban coffee maker. It's only rough. I just, I took some measurements. I took a photo the night we were there. And basically, what this thing does, is you put your cup, your, pot, your cup here, and there's a cheesecloth. And it, it, they make a, just a metal ring with a little handle. You put your coffee in it. You boil your water. They would just boil it over a fire. W water boils, pour it into the coffee. It drips through the cheesecloth. It's not exactly cheesecloth. It's something a little bit more, like, finer. And then right into the pot, right into the cup, you got a cup of coffee. So I built one of these as a prototype and see if she likes it. Just pine with some oak uh, 5 16 towels. Um, I routed it out quick. Um, I didn't even use the router table. I just put it on one of those anti-skid just to give it a look, see if this was recess enough, made the hole. I'm going to test it tonight with her little ring, and we'll see uh, how it comes out. She, uh, she asked me if I can make a few of these for her. Okay. The humidor. It's all set, mounted. There it is. It's got the moisture pack in there. It's got actually 26 cigars. I can get 27 cigars into it. And it, it worked out nice. Um, so far I've had it over a week and every cigar, I've only had a few in there. This is the first time I filled it. So we'll see what happens um, in a week and a half or so when I use these cigars up. All right. I started ordering stuff for the truck, you know, I'm building stuff for the truck, and I'm a big Calavera bag guy. I, I love them. We use them all the time. Um, I ordered another four pack from my the other day, and basically it's the same bracket that goes onto the MFT table. Here, let me just pan down a little bit so you could see it where I have mine. It's the same thing that'll fit on the table but it also comes with this mount that you can actually mount to your wall if you don't have an MFT or your truck your shop wherever it comes with he gives you even four two inch screws and a very good <laughs> instructions now you can get it alone two bags, four bags, but this here, we're going to use a mount inside our truck, and that's where we mount our bags. Now, we keep six of these bags on the truck. Now, these bags here, away, these are bags off my truck. This is a new belt that Calavera came out with. Now, when I bought these bags, um, I used an old fire department belt. And then I kind of threw one up, threw one together for my son. We go on the houses, we go into attics, uh, working in a big commercial job on a man lift to keep screws and, and so on and so forth. Well, they, he designed this belt and sent me one. Now, I've been using it now for a week and a half. It is an excellent complement to the bag system. It appears to be, now I, I don't know, there's no price, and uh, the exact uh, material it appears to be a very heavy nylon webbing. It has, a, I'm going to go over this clip, because this is the most, this is what I'm really excited about, this clip. Because it has, it's got a big safety feature in it. And it has 16 loops in the bag, in the belt, that you can put a multitude of things on. Now. It is very comfortable. It's not a big, huge web belt that d digs into you. We have had it up in an attic. We have had them under a house. And then if you check out my Instagram channel, Michael Latronico, we just started a donut shop where, we, where I had to have three or four of these bags. We worked on a man lift. We worked on the ground. I, I shared it with my son. Very nice. Very, very nice product. And basically, it clicks on. Now you have your, your bags 
Let me just pan this down a little bit. Now you have your bags handy on you. Now like this bag, because I'm a lefty, I would put my ruler in it and I would put like bits and stuff. Either like quarter or five sixteenths uh, nut driver bits, uh, Phillips bits. And then here I would keep my screws, my nail plates. See I actually have some stuff in here still from the job. But also I can keep a knife and I can also keep a marker. But I usually would keep the marker right in this in this pouch. Now the reason that I like this with this belt, if you get hung up, now I'm uh, uh, going to go back with my fire department thing, it was all safety. We had everything that was quick release. But if you get hung up with this belt, whether you're in webbing, in a ceiling, or under a house, or wherever, and you can't get, all you need to do is find, now of course it's on the right side, find the belt, get over to the clip, and the belt comes right off and now you can see what your problem is. That, I love that feature. Now, I don't know if he designed it into it, but when I looked at it, when I was looking at the belt, I thought it was a great feature. Just find the belt, run your thumbs along until you find the buckle, and as soon as you get to the buckle, just squeeze and the belt comes right off. You don't have to fiddle with uh, um, a, a traditional belt to get it out of the loop, and then pull it. <clears throat> you don't have to try to find the big clip which sometimes they don't unclip. This thing is so fast that it just unclips right off. All right, let me get the camera back up again. Let me just get it over to here. And what we do, what I, what I was doing with the belt is, like I said, I have, I have three of these. So one's here on the MFT table, one is going in the new truck, and then I have one in my, my truck now. I just take it and I put it right through and clip it and now it stays on the truck with the rest. So as you can see, there's four. You can actually put six in the, in the belt. Also with this is that when you're, when you're finished, like if you're tired, you wanna have a break, you know, um, if you, like I said, if you look at my Instagram, we took this and clipped this through the guardrail of the man lift, just left it there. And you can reach into it and grab it, or it just sits there, you know, for, till your break is up but it's a, it's a very nice belt, um, a lot of adjustment, a lot of features in it. Um, and again, it is extremely comfortable. Uh, probably, I was wearing the belt for about three hours. Con you know, constant, bending down, coming up, climbing up onto the man lift, never got caught, the bags move. Um, you, you also, al also a nice feature too, and I know uh, Calavera sells these separate, you can actually leave the, the little carabiners on and take the whole bag off the belt and get, have another set of carabiners and then you can just reclip on another bag instead of winding its way through the belt again. Leave the little carabiners on. They don't take up much room. They're very small. You know, they're not for load, but you know, they'll handle, they'll handle probably five, ten pounds if you want to carry that. Now the bags. I've owned these bags for over a year. And I have about 20 of them. And we have kept screws of different sizes, nail straps, which have very pointy nails in them. And we leave them loaded in the truck, bouncing around. And I have never had anything come through the bottom of these bags. And some of these, this, these bags, as you can see how dirty they are, these are probably about a year or better old. So it's a very, very great complement to the Calavera 5 bag system. And for those of you that have uh, seen, not seen the bags, they are color coded. So we have blue, we have yellow, we have like a greenish color, there's a red, um, yeah, I think that's it. But you have the carabiner that you can actually, if you want to, just buy a single bag. And that's how we used to have them. So we used to have them all around us. You come out from under a house or in an attic at this 110 degrees, 
you want to get these things off. As you can see, they hit your belt loop, you put them down. This thing, you take your belt off, you hang it up. So you have the carabiner. There's also a belt clip that will clip onto your belt. Now, with a gut, a little hard. You can label the bag by putting a label inside of the bag, color code, and let me find it because it's a new bag, it cinches closed. And you know, when we start crawling under a house or crawling through an attic, I cinch these closed because you lose the stuff as you go along. Because you know, even though the bag is hanging down, it gets caught up, it gets flipped, it dumps the stuff. And you want the stuff there when you get to it. So all I do is just put my fingers in there and spread the bag open enough that I can just get my hand in it and pull out what I need. Very nice, and it's a, it's a very heavy nylon with an extremely heavy bottom. All made in the USA. Very nice product. I will include all of the um, his link and the model numbers in the descriptions below. Um, they also are the Diamondback Tool Company, which is a very good uh, leather work belt. Okay, I think that's it, uh, YouTube. Um, I think we covered everything. And um, yes, my next video is going to be the setting up and adjusting of the MFT3 table. And um, that's it. Again, I'd like to I thank everybody for all of the uh, subscribes. I think I'm closing on 1,600. Um, all of the comments and all of the likes. Check out my other channel, The Renai Guy, which is going quite well. Um, with that, uh, this week alone, I think I had about 32 um, f uh, uh, between emails, phone calls, and, and uh, messages about um, problems all around the United States with, with the, the Renai Tankless Eaters. So that's, that's going pretty well. The Renai is very happy with it, and so is my distributor. All right, um, check out my Instagram, Michael Latronico. You'll see all of the uh, bill all the, and the, um, uh, my job videos, uh, excuse me, photos. And um, that's it. Uh, you all be safe out there, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.